Hello, everyone. I had a question from uh, one of you, and the question uh, surrounds this table, table 2 on page 77. Uh, in this version, it says 4.2. It's chapter 4, table 2, page 77 in the um, fourth edition of the textbook that you're using. And the question has to do with figuring out the price of a bond when the interest rates go up. And what this is basically, let's, let's kind of read the scenario here. One year returns on different maturity, 10% coupon rate, when interest rates rise from 10% to 20%. So here's the scenario. Um, you buy a $1,000 bond and you have a $100 coupon payment. And so your initial yield when you buy the yacht by the bond is 10%. Now, what's going to happen to your yield and the price of your bond if interest rates go up? Now, the yield is 10 over 1,000, which is going to be 10%. Um, and uh, a student was trying to figure out how the author came out with the price of the bond after one year. And I'm going to show you what the, the student did. And it was quite logical, but he couldn't get the right answer. So let's take uh, the second bond, the second example, a two-year bond, 10% initial yield, $1,000 initial price. And how can we calculate this uh, $917? So I'm going to have to count plug in my computer here. I'm losing the power. There we go. Now, I've got my uh, HP financial calculator right here. And to figure out, I mean, I'm going to show you the way the student uh, figured it out. So we got a $1,000 um, price. And that's the future value. So I want to click future value right here. And we've got a $100, $100 coupon payment. And that's our payment. So I'm going to click on PMT right here. And interest rates have gone up by 20%. So I'm going to type in 2, 0. And this is where I in, input my interest rate right here, I over YR. Boom. And it's for two years. See this two-year bond right here? Two years. So I'm going to 2 and N is 2. And then I hit present value. And this is what was confusing the student. Uh, this student was getting a new price of eight hundred and forty seven dollars but the in the textbook the new price for the next year is nine hundred seventeen now the problem is the scenario the scenario is initially interest rates are ten percent but the rise to twenty percent after one year so this means the first year interest rates are ten percent the second year they're twenty percent and this is how we're going to figure out figure it out. Let me start all over. The price of the bond is going to be the same, one thousand dollars. Boom. Coupon payment the same. PMT one hundred. Interest rate the same, twenty percent. Now, since the interest rates have gone up after one year, we're going to figure the the price of the bond for the second year. So this is going to be a, a, a N of only one. If I click on N1 and I click on present value, look, $917 and that's exactly what they get right here. Let's try it again. Let's try it for the second, excuse me, this example where it's a five-year maturity. I'm going to hit on erase. 1,000 future value or the price. $100 coupon payment, PMT, and we're going to have a 20% interest rate. Now, remember the first year is 10 and the next four are going to be 20%. So we're going to have N minus one. So we're going to put four as N. And when I hit present value, $741, and that's exactly what we get here. So that's how uh, the author calculated the new price of a bond when interest rates went up the following year.